What is going on guys? Thank you all so much for tuning in. Now today I want to share with you all how to deal with competition on location for your vending business. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to win over locations, uh, to make yourself the only vendor there, or to just outsell a vendor that you're sharing a location with. Now, there's definitely a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, now, I will say that I did get the inspiration for this video from All Things Gumball, so definitely check out his channel. There is a link in the description as well as several other vending YouTubers, so definitely go check them all out. Super awesome content from pretty much everyone on there. Uh, I do have to head up to Sam's Club. going to be buying some coffee because I am a coffee-holic, and I am out of coffee, so that is no bueno for me. Uh, and I also am going to go ahead and pick up some Reese PCs and peanut M&Ms because I want to make sure I have plenty of product when I go on my next run and those are definitely my two best sellers. I also have to stop by the bank and deposit some money because I just purchased a custom tuxedo. Thought I'd share with you all because I am very excited as uh, many of you I'm sure know I'm getting married in less than two months so Got the tuxedo ordered. Can't wait till it gets in. And uh, when it comes in, I'll definitely show you guys a video of me wearing the tuxedo for the first time. So very excited for that. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the road, run a few errands, and then we can discuss competition and what to do about it. And if you guys get any kind of value from these videos or you just enjoy watching them, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. And in the comment section, if you guys could give me some ideas for some other videos, well, there's a lot of things I can do on the vending topic, but I would also like to branch off into some other entrepreneurial slash investing topics and been a bit hesitant to do so because you all have been responding so well to the vending topic. That's really what I've been sticking with for the most part but I would like to hear if there's any other things that you guys want to hear about or any other hustles or side hustles or anything like that. I, I want to know if I should make a video about different ways of making passive income or investing in the stock market or real estate because coming up very soon, I am going to be investing in real estate and I'd love to share it with you guys. Uh, just let me know if that's something you'd be interested in the uh, comment sections below. So the best way, in my opinion, to really just beat out some competition at a location, whether it be for a full line, bulk, whatever kind of vending you're doing, is going to be either giving your customer a better product. For example, if they're doing uh, just gumballs, put a double head or triple head in there and give them peanut M&Ms and Skittles and maybe throw some gumballs in there. Go with like nerd gumballs or seedling gumballs. Just something a little bit better than what your competitor is doing. Another really good thing to do is really just make sure your machine looks really nice, clean, pretty uh, one thing i do is i like to try to get red machines because red really catches the eye so if there's a red machine right next to a black machine i feel like most people are going to go towards the red machine just because it's really eye catching it's really it really pops and you can really really see it very easily compared to a black uh, machine which kind of can just uh, blend in to the surroundings. So another thing you can do is just provide a better value for the customer. For example, if your competitor on location is selling a peanut M&Ms, put a couple quarters in there, see how much he's vending. Say he's vending six peanut M&Ms, which is pretty standard. That's what I aim for myself. But you also have that location or you just got that location or they followed you into that location. In any scenario, this will work. Just open up slots a little bit more and give one or two extra peanut M&Ms for that same quarter and they will definitely go to you versus your competitor. Now, you're still gonna, your competitor's probably still gonna get some quarters in their machine just from the passing by foot traffic. Uh, with vending, there is a lot of repeat business. So if they notice that your machine is constantly spitting out seven or eight peanut M&Ms and the competitors is spitting out five or six, they're gonna go to yours every single time. Now, that can also be applied to a full line vending as well. Uh, for example, say you both have the same uh, chip selection, just uh, make it five cents cheaper or maybe put a slightly bigger bag 
if they're selling theirs for say a dollar just sell yours for 90 cents or 75 cents and maybe put a bulk machine right next to it or also have something for a quarter in your machine that way even though your profit margin might be a little bit lower than your competitors you're going to definitely get the majority of the revenue from that location and that is definitely beneficial because even if your profit margin is a little bit lower it's definitely worth doing if you're getting all of the sale anyway it's a time for me to head into sam's club and pick up a little bit of product and my coffee of course <laughs> I just got out of Sam's Club as you can see I have all my product as well as my coffee right here so about to head home now back on topic there is another thing that you can do to definitely win over the location this one is definitely my least favorite but sometimes it is worth doing and uh, sometimes you just got to pull out the big guns and say hey I'll give you a higher commission not a huge fan of this method because it does mean less profit I don't mind so much giving out more product for a lower profit but I don't like giving commission if I don't have to that being said you know I have said this before I do have several locations that I do give commission uh, some warrant me giving commission and I'm totally fine with it and others I really don't feel like I should have to because they make maybe 10 or less dollars per month and giving commission on less than a $20 a month I think is a little bit ridiculous because it's such a small amount of money for the business owner uh, you know help me out just let me keep the dollar or a dollar fifty and let me maybe give you some more candy per vend instead now another thing is build a connection with the management and staff and employees you don't have to go to their kids birthday parties and all that stuff but when you go in make sure that you are very friendly and this also goes for keeping locations um, try to a appease as many people as you can give out a little bit of free candy that's something I do for the locations that I don't pay commission a lot of time I'll go in uh, when I service the machines and I'll give them a little bit of free candy uh, I'll give them a couple quarters to use on the machine uh, just as a way for me to say thank you for letting me stay here and build that little bit of a connection with those people because if they like you they're not going to kick out your machine sometimes the uh, employees or owner are have another shop or open up another place and you can put a machine in there or they know about uh, another place you can put a machine whether it be one of their friends or family they might otherwise say no but because a good reputation and you have a good rapport with management at one place and they can tell their friends that hey you should give this guy a try it's all about the connection guys connections are very very important make sure you're always trying to build and grow your network it really does help with all aspects of business and not just vending so I just got home and that's gonna actually also just about wrap up this video uh, if you got some kind of value out of this video and I helped you uh, deal with competition in your location uh, or anything like that please make sure you hit that like button I really do appreciate it and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and then leave a comment down below Need some more ideas on what to make videos about I love making these vending videos but I think there's also a lot of missed opportunity to make videos about other entrepreneurial ventures and investing as well. So please make sure to give me some ideas down below and I will catch you all in the next one.